of researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, led by the biophysicist Dipendu Kumar Das, is joining the race to develop a vaccine against SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Das team at IIT Kanpur's Biological Science and Bioengineering Department is developing two vaccines, a subunit and a live attenuated against the deadly virus. Finding effective vaccines to prevent COVID-19 is important, with the World Health Organization reiterating on Monday that the majority of the world population is still vulnerable. Das told Business Line from Kanpur, We have received promising results so far. Later this month, we will be able to test the vaccine in animal models, which would take nearly two months. We plan to run safety and efficiency tests side by side. If everything goes well, we will be ready for human trials in three months. Das, who specializes in virology, said the team has been working on the vaccine for the last two months. For almost all COVID-19 vaccine projects, the target is the spike protein or S-protein, which helps the virus latch onto the lung cells. If the body has the antibiotics against the S-protein, which it can acquire through vaccination, the virus can be neutralized when it enters the body. According to Das, the entire S protein is not immunogenic. It is just only a portion of it. Through the subunit vaccine, the IIT Kanpur scientists are trying to target this segment of the protein. He said the S protein has two parts, that is S1 and S2. The Kanpur scientists are focusing on S2 because it seldom undergoes mutation. As a result, even if the virus mutates, the vaccine is expected to be effective. Besides, this could be a broad-based vaccine as S2 is found in most members of the coronavirus family, including those that causes the SARS and MERS epidemics. For the other vaccine, the IIT Kanpur team would be using a virus as a scaffold and express S protein in it. At present, we do not want to reveal what the virus is. All I can say is that this particular vector that we have chosen does not cause any infection in human beings. He said the lockdown is affecting their vaccine development programming. Most of the things that we need come with a delay of 20 to 25 days. So far, the team has not approached any agency for funding support. Meanwhile, the Department of Biotechnology Secretary Renu Swarup told that the department is supporting four major vaccine candidates. Under its national biopharma mission, DBT is trying to fast-track vaccine development initiative in the country. According to Swarup, among these efforts are the recombinant BCG vaccine candidate of Serum Institute of India, which would undergo phase 3 clinical trials, a DNA vaccine from Kerala Healthcare, a safe inactivated rabies vector platform developed by Bharat Biotech, and an mRNA vaccine from Genova Biopharma Limited. Besides these, the National Institute of Immunology would be developing a novel vaccine evaluation platform to support SARS-CoV-2 vaccine development in resource-limiting settings.